um, so today is Saturday. I'm going to be putting this up on Sunday, uh, but I wanted to try recording early because it's starting to get into a crunch on Sundays. Um, I've been filming while my husband is at play rehearsals. He is currently putting on, well, he's, they're rehearsing to put on a play in town um, called She Kills Monsters. And so um, rehearsals are Sundays at like five. Well, I've been getting a video filmed and put up by like 7.30, 8 o'clock um, on Sundays, but I don't like putting them up that fast and I certainly don't like the crunch involved. I spend a lot of time like freaking out that it's not gonna get done and waiting really patiently as it um, tries to load and everything, especially once I've cut it and then I have to wait for it to load. So I hadn't actually planned on filming the video today and then I kind of vomited information at my husband that this was a thing I'd like to do um, and he and my stepdaughter left. So. Um, for right now I can film, which is nice. Um, there's something on my contact that I can see when I blink. Let's talk about progress first. Uh, I'm on page 63. I have really trucked along this week. Um, I would have gotten more done except that on Wednesday, um, which was, uh, International Day Without a Woman, um, was, uh, we did not work at my office, but I was so sick. I slept all day. So I didn't get as much done as I had planned on that day. But I'm pretty happy with my progress. I'm on chapter three, section three. So I have 13 pages until I reach the next chapter. Um, things are moving along fine. However, one of the things I did to myself this week is that I went straight to bed after taking a bath and I forgot that I'd had a cup of tea on my desk and I'd left my manuscript out. And I have a couple of lovely, wonderful pets named Dreamer and Mr. Crowley. And I would guess it was Mr. Crowley because he likes to stick his face in cups and I have a cup with like a choked neck that I drink my tea out of. Um, I drink it in the video too sometimes. Um, but uh, the next morning I woke up to the, the my whole manuscript being wet, um, but the front page looked like this. So this is what um, section three of chapter three starts off as right now. So I couldn't actually write on it for like 12 hours. Um, and I'm having some problems with my connection to my printer. So reprinting the page wasn't as easy as it should have been. Um, otherwise I would have just reprinted the page anyway, just cause this is kind of gnarly. Um, but it is just tea. So at least, you know, and there's no sugar in it or anything. I drink my tea, just plain tea. So, um, in theory that should be fine. Uh, but those idiots. Um, so I, because of that, um, and because I, uh, I like pretty things, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense since I like horror and all these weird creepy things behind me. Um, but, uh, I do like, I like, like grotesquely pretty things. Um, and I happen to be at the dollar store today. And so now I have a new box that I'm putting on my desk for my manuscript. Um, and then I can keep my manuscript and a couple other little things in here. Like if I need to keep, um, uh, my pen that I edit with, I use the, these precise V5 ones. Um, I just use any color in the rainbow. So I just buy a pack of the colors and then I just switch out as I switch manuscripts or as they run out of ink. Um, so I can also put that box, uh, that carton of the, the pens in it. And I could also put like, um, highlighters in it if I wanted to, um, or whatever. The edit is going so well, I don't really have a lot of complaints. I'm not doing any specifically new problems that I've noticed. Like in the past, I've noticed that I've, um, started using different phrases over and over and over again. I haven't caught any of those, but this isn't my first pass on this. So I, there may have been some before, but I must've caught them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm starting to get into the like, the meat of the story. We're not at the opening anymore. We're not just meeting people. We're not just learning um, where people come from and things like that. Now we're starting to learn about the people that we've met. Um, we're starting to get into the meat of the actual uh, conflict. Um, so it is it is moving along faster than it was at the beginning. And that's another thing is that you have to keep in mind that um, action... Although you start with action, you don't start with the same kind of action that you have later in the story. So um, it does move a little bit slower at the beginning. Um, I need to go over it a couple times and make sure that that's not an intolerable slowness. 
uh, that is something that I need to kind of review and practice with and, and also maybe um, talk to some other people, have some other people read it and see what they think. Um, no one else has read this as of right now. Um, <clears throat> this is at least my second edit. It might be my third. I don't keep as good a track as I used to. I used to be able to remember all this stuff and I don't remember much anymore. Um, you know, I'm old, so that's a thing. Go ahead and uh, like this video. Um, subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, all of which I am at WordsmithSarah. Um, it's W-O-R-D-S-M-I-T-H-S-A-R-A-H. Uh, if you have any problem finding me, you can look me up by my name, Sarah Scharnweber, which is the same as it is here. Um, and you can um, donate to my Patreon, which is also down below. I'm going to do regular interactions with my patrons on Patreon, so if you want to um, do a monthly contribution, you can do that at the link below. Um, go ahead and share any of my stuff with anyone, and uh, I hope you're having a good writing week, and I will see you next week. Bye!